What's up everybody? It's your girl Keisha aka K Mills aka Per Speech Key and I am here with another video. As you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail of the video, I am going to be doing a perm rod set for thinner 3C to 4B here. I know it's not really a video that's needed on YouTube because I'm sure if you search up a perm rod set you're gonna see 1365 videos or more but one i'm bored two i need more content so yeah might as well film every little thing that i can post to my channel and you know keep the ball going because you know y'all know that i love to go missing when i'm ready so yeah without further ado let's get into it okay so i just washed my hair and um i dried it with a t-shirt because I don't like to use towels because I don't know if y'all know this but whenever you use towels and you dry your hair like the fibers of the towels tend to like stick to your hair and it could cause breakage so I always 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 tell people and for myself use a t-shirt and dry your hair you can't go wrong Gotta reapply lip gloss. So boom, as you can see, I have mad shrinkage whenever my hair is freshly washed or damp, period. Like my hair shrink up like, I don't know what to say, but I always have crazy shrinkage. But don't get it twisted, okay? Goody does have some length, okay? Goody do got some length. Like I actually have like a length to my hair like i'm not y'all ain't gonna play me like i have length but that's usually the case not here on my loop got it <laughs> yeah so like that's usually the case with most people who have shrinkage like we usually have good length to our hair regardless when it's stretched i should be saying not regardless you know what i'm saying but yeah we usually have good lengths to our hair the front and middle of my hair is is the longest though especially the front the front of my hair is pretty long but yeah crazy shrinkage as you can see um yeah i'm not going to be doing your typical tutorial where you do the voiceover and all of that stuff because well honestly I don't have the time to go and record no voiceover and I don't have the time to go and edit no voiceover on the video so we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way you see yeah so before I do any type of styling or anything whenever my hair is freshly washed and everything the first thing that I like to do is oil my scalp and my Trusty hair oil that I always use is the wild growth oil. I love this. This is like, listen, I don't care what product I change in my hair regimen. This, I feel still this. Now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna bury with it. Like, honestly, because this has worked wonders in my hair. Oh my gosh, not me squeezing all the oil. It's expensive. I can't waste. Cannot be wasted. But yes, this stuff is amazing. This stuff grew my hair like crazy. I remember even at one point, like I used to have issues with like dry scalp. And this product right here, I tried everything to deal with a dry scalp for me. Nothing never worked. This, this that's used for growing hair, helped to stop my itchy scalp. 
you need to listen I just put you on get you some wild growth oil so I literally just apply it all over my head just like so I don't section it or anything because it's not really necessary when you have um, an oil with a nozzle on it which is obviously an advantage. So you just put it all over. Make sure that you're squeezing the bottle as you're applying it so that the oil actually comes out the bottle. And then I just literally massage it in. I'm kind of rough with my massages because like I really want it to get in. I really want it to get in there. So yeah. my hairline my the COVID was peak okay so from here what I usually do is go in with a uh, leave-in conditioner um heat protector and then blow dry it out um straight but because i'm going to do the perm rod so i honestly don't think that it makes sense for me to blow dry it straight because i'm going to put product back in my hair that's going to make it wet again so it doesn't make no sense so um what i'm going to do is go in with a light leave-in conditioner so I'm going to use the as I am leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to use the kinky curly detangler as like my gel because it is a jelly consistency and it's not going to give you like a really hard um cast like regular gel would so your curls would be nice and bouncy so these are the two that I'm going to be using but before I do that, um, I did mention at the beginning of the video that I do have hair that's on the thinner side. My hair isn't like thin, thin, but my hair is not thick. So my mom actually put me on some products. Um, it's for thickening, obviously. Uh, so we have the scalp treatment so this i think is a spray that you spray directly on your scalp and then this is the thickening thickening serum that you actually rub on your hair so i'm actually going to put these two in then go in with the other two products and then start doing the perm rods Okay, so you're actually supposed to massage it in while it's dripping down my face. Okay, so <laughs> massaging it in. Now with the serum, you're actually supposed to put it in and then blow dry your hair after. But again, because I said that it doesn't really make no sense for me to blow dry it, I'm just going to do a quick blow dry with just the blow dryer just to kind of like dry dry out the product a bit and then go in with other products okay so those are in um the reason why i actually i should actually make this disclaimer the reason why i decided to go with a perm rod set rather than a wash and go is because as mentioned earlier in the video i did say 3c to 4d here i have a couple of different curl patterns in my hair so i honestly just can't be bothered with the different different curl patterns if i had just 4B or just 3C or fine, but there's just too much going on in my head. So the perm rod set it is. Okay, that's 
drying off. Is the shrimp fro for me? Okay, so the rods that I'm going to be using are the gray rods. They're a little bit smaller than the orange ones. Um, I decided to go with these because I am trying to go for more of like a curl pattern that kind of matches with mine a little bit, like kind of like a 3C, 4A kind of curl pattern. I guess it would give you more of like a 3C still, but yeah, that's what I'm going for. So I'm gonna work in sections. I'm gonna apply the Kinky Curly Detangler in sections and um, put on the perm rods. I'm going to wrap it from root to end just because um, I kind of want it to go down the perm rod rather than to go up, rather than to go like right around or rather than to work up because like I kind of want it to be as stretched as possible if that makes sense and I feel like when people just wrap it round and around in the same spot like once you pull it out it's more shrinked you know what I mean whatever I'm just gonna do what it does So the reason why I used the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner with this gel is because the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner is, um, is really light and kind of on the watery side. I find that whenever you use um, thicker leave-in conditioners or butters before um, using any form of gel, you're more likely to get a... Um, get like that white residue so as you can see this doesn't really have a white residue so that's what i was aiming for and also regarding my different curl patterns i do want to show you guys as i go along what my curl patterns look like you can't even you know we'll see anything because of my background but yeah, I do have, um, I guess it is more of like a 4D kind of curl pattern in the back. But yeah. Boom, just like so. I don't really care to get it too tight at the root because I do want it to kind of have a certain level of volume when I'm done with it. So yeah, it didn't really go tight at the root. Girl, come on, what's this the girl? Oh yeah, it's a little bit looser. Closer to the hairline though, it is definitely still giving 4B. But, like look here compared to here. I don't know, man. There's too many mixtures going on here. I feel like I am definitely still seeing 4B, but I am also seeing like very, very small glimpses of like 4A curls. I don't know. Anyways. You don't care. Okay, so that was the side. I would show you guys the middle, but 
hair doing right here? I would show you guys the middle, but the middle is the same as the front. So I think I'm just gonna do it in the front. So that you guys can see that there are like too many different blasted textures in my head for me to do and um wash and go which is annoying but i guess it is what it is there would be too many different curl patterns going on and too much shrinkage because as you can tell whenever i do that the the little sections and show you what they look like my hair like shrinks up into my neck back like you don't understand some parts of the very front of my hair are ooh, are also kind of damaged though so this isn't a good section for me to show you but like you can see where it's damaged like you see like right here there's no curl at all right here but you can I'm gonna tell maybe the root Like it's a lot, 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 lot looser. Now it's starting to curl, okay. But yeah, you could tell the difference between where there's some sort of heat damage. I feel like this is heat damage at least. I don't really use a lot of heat in my hair, but it just looks very off. So maybe it is heat damage, but I do have some 3C going on. You have things like this that look a little more 4A. So I don't know, man. But as you can tell, there's just too much going on with my curl patterns. It's just a no for me when it comes to what you call it washing goes so my hair is a little bit longer so I kind of have to wrap it closer together and boom so I'm gonna do the rest of it off camera because this video is gonna be too long so bye Two hours later. Okay y'all, so I finally finished putting in all of the perm rods. Um, I didn't want my sections to be this big originally, but when I went to the hair store the last time, I forgot to get more perm rods. So this is what we're gonna be working with. You can see it's wrapped pretty nicely. I'm hoping to achieve something like a 3C type curl with these. Um, I'm gonna put on my little satin bonnet and leave these on for the night. And then at some point tomorrow, I will loose it out and we'll see the finished product. So I'll see you guys then.